Hey guys, what's up? By Cyclotron here from One Half Gazette. Here with the next war recap video against Bad Boys. And it was not that close of a war. They did use quite a few of their attacks. Um, got a few three stars on her, our nines. I was hit by one of their tens actually. Uh, but looks like that one number two wanted to three stars some Town Hall nines. Uh, but they got here and there some Town Hall nine three stars. And then. Um, as far as what we did, we got the one three star. We'll take a look at that. It was, it was a Town Hall 11, uh, but against a solid Town Hall 10, and then all the nines cleared besides that. So anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at a few attacks today, um, and we're focusing on Go La Loon at Town Hall 9. I'm going to be showing a few of those just to mix it up. Don't want to do all Valks all the time, even though that's kind of what we've been seeing lately. Also, I have a new idea for a series that could potentially be every day in addition to the kind of daily uploads I've been doing. So um, I'll probably have that starting tomorrow. So make sure you're checking in tomorrow and uh, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments because I won't be able to remind you within the vi that actual video. Uh, you'll see why when I do it. But um, it's going to be kind of an addition to the daily upload that I tend to do. So uh, just let me know what you guys think. I should go through with that and you should see that on the channel tomorrow. Anyway, though, we're looking at Vietha, a Town Hall 11, uh, taken on a Town Hall 10. Um, but these are still important three stars to get because in, you know, arranged wars, Town Hall 10s are, or Town Hall 11s are going to have to be able to do this pretty regularly. And the Town Hall 10s have to be able to go up and two star the Town Hall 11s because um, that's the most efficient way to do it. That way you're getting the most out of your attacks and stuff. But anyway, though, dropped the Quakes down. Mini Queen Walk just to take out a few buildings up top. Help create the funnel. The Warden, the Valks go in. Great use of the Warden's ability and great use of that Freeze. Um, that Freeze, I think, got four Teslas and one Inferno. So awesome value. The Grand Warden, his ability protected against like three giant bombs that all went off at once. So those Valks were just completely safe. Um, still has a heal left for them because the Infernos are both down at this point and uh, he can go ahead and heal them up whenever he wants. Goes ahead and drops it right there. Uh, that one balloon from the CC is doing a little bit of work here. And at Town Hall 11, it seems like things start to kind of die out, but the Warden and the Queen, especially when the Queen has some healers on her, they just walk around the base, help take it out. Uh, the King, there goes his ability. Just used it now. I'm gonna get through these few defenses. Unfortunately, that jump wasn't placed that well, but the King takes it along with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Valks. Um, they're going to make their way through this base. The jump lasts for quite a while because it is level 3. And then a nice touch on over there has the CC of Hogs, uh, which will make their way through, take out some of these defenses. Uh, some of them are distracted on the Queen, but everything making its way through. Still has quite a few troops up, so awesome attack on this base. Um, this is kind of what we need from our Town Hall 11s in these arranged wars. This obviously isn't an arranged war, but... Uh, that's going to be something you might, guys might see a little more often. And uh, the level 5 Valks are working great for Town Hall 11s. They're just as effective as a Town Hall 10. So awesome attack to Bietha. We'll go ahead and get to a Town Hall 10 2-star by a Town Hall 9. Um, so once again, another important thing, uh, inner Town Hall level play, uh, to have our 9s go up and 2-star some of the 10s. Uh, because we always have, or I shouldn't say we always do, because we've had some bad wars in the past, but we almost always have Town Hall 9 attacks left over after all the enemy 9s are 3-starred. So these attacks are you know, going to be used to try to get 2-stars to scout out these Town Hall 10s. Uh, so we're looking at Rich. Bring in another Valk attack. I know we'll get to the Gola Loon in a minute, but just wanted to show a few higher level attacks on these Town Hall 10 bases. Uh, right here, Quakes go down, opening everything up. There's the Golem, some Wizards creating the funnel, the Minions creating the funnel. A nice little touch there with the Valk. You know, two buildings touching, you can use a Valk instead of Wizards, especially if uh, you're afraid the Wizard will get shot down because the Valk has, you know, a lot more hit points. It can go up there, take out some buildings, even if it's being targeted. Anyway, though, that Golem's about to bust. It Right there, it's going to bust. The Wall Breakers were a fail, so things aren't going great, but the funnel is created so nicely that can just drop down the Valks, they'll just beat through the wall right there. Luckily it gets them down before the Queen takes out too much of this stuff, otherwise nothing would have pulled them in. But uh, right here they're going to go in just as he wanted them to. Has the heal, uh, which isn't going to heal all of them because of that multi-inferno, plus the one from the single, but it heals some of them. Uh, they're going to tear through those uh, Teslas real quickly. Whenever they have the quad Teslas like that, the Valks just destroy it. Has the King's ability. That entire core is cleared out in a matter of seconds. 
everything's beating on a wall, unfortunately, so kind of maxed out there, but um, they'll get through there and get a few more things taken out before they go down. Pops the Queen's ability, gets a few more buildings on the right side. Now it's up to just some minions at this point as the last few things go down. Um, that Queen might get a few more defenses, I believe, <clears throat> before she goes down. Um, and there's the minions. Uh, nice touch there. Always want to bring archers or minions or something as a Town Hall 9, especially trying to get the 2-star, uh, just in case you need those extra few percentage points. But uh, I'll go ahead and go times 4, because the Queen is still up. She'll go down soon, and the minions getting a few more buildings taken out. Awesome attack to Rich. Going up there and getting the uh, two star. All right, now those Town Hall 9 attacks I was talking about. Just a few, kind of a quick recap. Um, might even have another video coming out tonight, depending on how it goes. Uh, but I um, wanted to recap this war. So we're looking at Civil Serpent. I like that name, by the way. Um, taking on number seven and doing it with a Go La Loon. Kind of a classic old style old-fashioned attack that you don't see quite as much but especially against some of these bases people stop trying to defend against it because they don't see it as much and that's a great time to use it when the bases aren't necessarily uh, meant to defend against it there goes the jump and you can see right there that one compartment doesn't have much HP in the two air defenses and the Queen easily accessible so goes ahead and drops the rage to help everything uh, move forward that much quicker um, doesn't look like he brought or he did bring the one poison uh, and then the five haste. So the poison will help slow down those balloons and stuff. Get those taken out. There goes the queen. She's about to go down. And uh, his own queen will step up. Help with some of these Teslas and stuff. So getting pretty good value for just the two golems right there. Uh, big part of this base has already been taken out. And uh, unfortunately the walls are kind of an issue. But uh, not a whole lot of damage going in this kill squad. So they'll actually stay up quite a bit longer for this attack. Here comes the uh, lava hounds and then the balloons. Uh, nice haste spell right there. Get both of those groups of balloons moving faster, get that air defense down quicker, and allow the Lava Hounds to move on to the next one. Uh, right there, the Queen taking out that Tesla. She's helping out as well. Uh, the two air sweepers are pointed the wrong way. So this, this guy's base was not ready for Go Laloon at all. Um, you can see uh, the Lava Hounds still taking for that last air defense. I think he has two that did not even bust. So just crush this base. Even the uh, Lava Hounds didn't take much damage and didn't even need those last few haste spells. He still has one he hasn't even deployed. Um, totally crushed it. Might have been a little bit slow on time. I didn't actually see how long this at attack took, but considering only one of the Lava Hound, one of the Lava Hounds popped, um, might have been close on time, but uh, still an awesome attack. Nice job, the Civil Serpent. Getting three star with the Go La Loon. We're gonna take a look at one more, then we'll wrap this thing up. No Town Hall 8 action, unfortunately. They actually had a few Town Hall 8s, but our Town Hall 9s just had to attack them because we don't have any 8s in the clan at the moment. Um, I know you guys, some of you guys want to see the Town Hall 8 attacks, and I'm, I'm telling you guys I'm doing my best to, to get them when I can, but just don't have a whole lot to work with, and I don't really have an inner clan permit, so to speak, to go around to Alpha and stuff. Uh, but anyway, looking at Civil Serpent again, uh, taken on number 9, uh, so I didn't even, comp I didn't register that this, this was a two attacks by Civil Serpent, but it was. Anyway, though, the Golems got a little funky on him. You can see uh, one's going off to that cannon, the other one to the other cannon. So the King's kind of acting as a Golem right there, which isn't that good because he's going down somewhat quickly to the Dragon. Has the poison, but it's not doing a whole lot. Um, golems are taking quite a bit of damage, but the Queen is kind of the hero of the story. She's in there under the rage, taking out these air defenses along with that one wizard. And uh, fortunately, the Queen goes off on the Golemites, so... Uh, his queen's safe to sit back there and shoot. Another golem goes ahead and eventually makes his way in. Pops the queen's ability. She'll get a few more uh, buildings before she eventually starts to go down. Here comes the lava hound part of the attack, though. Once again, CC troops, queen, two air defenses gone. Just coming in here. Uh, the early haste always work well because the effect of the haste lasts with the balloons for like an extra two seconds after they leave it. So haste them early and then they can use that even after they leave the haste. Uh, right there, even as they get to that expo, the haste still lasts for a little while. Um, but kind of smothering these balloons in haste, because if you have a big group of balloons, like more two, probably three or more, don't even bother with the rage. The haste is plenty. Um, it'll get the same job done for one less spell space. Because everything moved forward here. They get, they get, they, I can't even talk today. They did get a little bit clumped up, but um, not a big deal. There wasn't a wizard tower or anything. If there is going to be a wizard tower, you know, just bring a few back end balloons to distract the wizard tower, maybe even get it taken out. 
that always uh, protects your big group of balloons. But anyway, I think there was a hound or two that didn't pop. So once again, not sure about time, but because there is the, the three minute time limit, but because he did not do a queen walk or anything like that, I think he had a little extra time to get in there and get these last few buildings taken out. I'll go ahead and fast forward. Awesome attacks at Civil Serpent, uh, leading the way for the Town Hall 9 attacks this war. Bring an archer for that builder's hat, but besides that, awesome attack. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Just a short one. I know, I mean, I've been looking at the survey results all week. I know you guys like the other series uh, as well, but got to keep it balanced. We'll have more coming out. And like I said, that new series is going to be coming out tomorrow as if I plan it out correctly. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments of that video because uh, I might do it on a daily basis depending on what you guys think. Anyway, though, thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.